embedding videos into your website is always something that is concerning for people because it slows down their website because it has to embed it from YouTube and all of this extra stuff. But in this video, we're going to show you how to embed videos from YouTube and Vimeo into your website, and it's not going to slow it down. Hey everyone, my name is Donald from Brainstorm Forest, and I make WordPress tutorial videos of our products. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video because you just don't want to miss them out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We have our page set up here, and you can see we have a video right here on the left hand side of this call to action. So we want to go ahead and edit this video. And just for the sake of the video and speed test and things of that nature, I'm going to use the same exact video that is in this template so that we can get a one-to-one -one comparison. From here, we're gonna go ahead and preview our website. Let's go ahead and grab our URL. Now this URL has the YouTube embed right here. Okay, this is not the video element that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and get this going from here. Let's go ahead and do a new one. And we're going to go ahead and test our site using uh, Pingdo. We're going to go ahead and paste in our URL and we're going to choose New York City. And we're going to start the test. Now that the test is complete, we have a little bit of a performance chart. So we have a load time of 2.29 seconds, request of 116, which is really high. Also a page size of 2.5 megabytes. If we go down here to our content size by domain name, we have the URL embed from the YouTube right here. And this has taken up almost half of a megabyte just for the, for the YouTube video that we have on the site. And you can see that our total page size is over two and a half megabytes. So we're going to go ahead and show you what happens when we insert the YouTube embed from the video element. Let's go ahead and navigate to that. Like I said, we're going to be using the same exact URL so we can get a one-to-one -one comparison. Let's go ahead and delete this YouTube video. And we're going to look for video. It's going to be this one right here. Click and drag it in. And we're going to paste in our YouTube video link right there. So we have our YouTube embed right here. And let's go ahead and update the page. From there, we're going to go ahead and check out our new page with our new YouTube embedded into it. And we have it right here. This is the same exact video. So let's copy and paste this right back in. And we're going to do a retest. And as you can see, we have gone down significantly. We have gone down almost three quarters of a second for load time. We've gone down 13 requests, and we've gone down half of a megabyte just in page size alone. Down here, if we go to content size by domain name, you can see that we no longer have the YouTube embed URL right here. And we've gone down to 1.95 megabytes instead of the 2.55 that we had earlier. And the reason for this is because instead of loading the YouTube video in embed right here, we're actually loading a thumbnail from YouTube. And the video doesn't actually get loaded onto the site until you go ahead and click play. And this is very important because this is the way we can optimize videos for your website without slowing your website down at all. So it's a great way to keep your website up and running fast and you can still embed videos into your website without having it slow it down. We have the options of YouTube and Vimeo so we can go ahead and paste either one of those in. We have the uh, video right here and then we actually have the YouTube placeholder right here. Now when you're embedding a YouTube or Vimeo video if you look over here on the left hand side, you can notice that the youtube.com is completely spelled out and it's actually not a short URL. The short URL is only youtube.be and then it has the code for the video afterwards. You wanna make sure that you have the entire length of the video 
right here. And you can do that by just copying and pasting, copying on the video link inside of YouTube, or clicking the share button underneath of the video from YouTube or Vimeo, and just pasting it right here inside of the link section. We have a bunch of other options for our video, so let's go ahead and dive right into that. We have the ability to choose our aspect ratio, so we can go ahead and do that down here. And then we also have options for the video, so we can do autoplay. So the autoplay, it once turned on, it will automatically start playing the video once the page is loaded. If we have suggested videos, the suggested videos would be hidden or shown at the end of the video. So if you have the video playing and it reaches the end, it has those tiles right here that will show you suggested videos that YouTube thinks that you may like based on what you've watched. You can either turn that on or off. We have player control, so if we show this or hide this, we can go ahead and have that. Let's click on play so we can see it. So right now it's hidden, so we actually can't control the video down here. But if we turn this on, and we have the video playing, you can see down here we have the player controls. The player title and actions. So that is this section up here at the top, in the top right. Right now it's shown, but if we go ahead and hide this and click play, you can see down here at the top of the video, it's no longer shown. So this is a great way to get a 100% clean video without actually having the player controls and the ability for them to navigate through your video. We can have this video muted so that we can go ahead and mute this video. This video right now does not have any audio. So you can go ahead and mute this video when it loads or when somebody clicks play. And then you actually have privacy mode. So when you turn the privacy mode on, YouTube's not going to let the person, the creator of the video know about the visitors of the website or anything of that nature. So they won't store any of the information about the visitors um, until they actually click on the video. So you can turn that on or off. The thumbnail and overlay. This is a great part because right now this thumbnail is okay but we want to upload something custom. So we can go ahead and turn this on. And once we do that, we can actually select an image from here. And I'm going to go ahead and upload my thumbnail. Once your thumbnail is uploaded, you have this, and then you have the complete thumbnail right there. So it overrides whatever thumbnail you have chosen on the YouTube video and puts whatever you want on it for yourself. So you can go ahead and do that. You have all of your options for the image size, so you can go full, custom, uh, thumbnail, single, catalog, things of that nature. So you have all of those different options as well. And then we also have an overlay color. So for some reason, if this is too bright and you wanna kinda dull it down some, you can go ahead and do that as well by choosing the opacity, and clicking on different colors that may match your branding a little bit more. So those are your options right there. So we can go ahead and get very creative with this if we want to. And it could be a completely blank black or background as well. So if you wanted to do something along those lines, so we can do that. We have options for the play button. So right now the play button is an icon and it's just a play circle because that's the one that makes the most sense. You have an option of play, or play circle with the outline. So you have different options for that. And of course, you're not limited to those. You can go ahead and use whichever icon you want here. Well, if it matches the video, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, it doesn't even have to match. You can do whatever you want it to be um, right here. From there, we can go ahead and choose the size of the icon. So if we want it really big or really small. And then we have the color options for normal and hover. So color. We can go ahead and make that white. And then for the text shadow, we can also add a text shadow around that so that we can go ahead and increase the blur and increase the horizontal and vertical and increase the actual box shadow behind it. So you can see it increased it right there. We can go ahead and dull that down some right there. We can also choose an image. So if we want an image for the play button instead, we can go ahead and choose our own image. 
So let's go ahead and upload a play icon right here. Let's go ahead and click insert. And we have the play icon right here. So it's a great looking icon that you can make in Photoshop. You can download from somewhere else from a third party source. And you can actually have a great looking icon instead of using a uh, the actual font icon. So you can increase the size or decrease the size of the image here. And then of course you have a hover animation that you can choose from here. So if you float, when you hover over top of it, it moves it there. Sync will move it down. And then we have the wobble vertical, so we will go ahead and go up and down like that. So there's different options that you can choose from for the image. And there's many icons to choose from. You have that yellow one that I just showed you. You could do a, a hand-drawn one just like this, which looks pretty fun and interactive. It looks inviting. So if you're looking for a more customizable video embedded with an icon, then this is definitely the way to go. If you want to stay standard with a regular icon, you can go ahead and do that as well. So once we've got all of that, we have all of our advanced sections here so we can actually add some good looking stuff to it. So what I would normally do with it is you can add like a border to it to make it look kind of framed in. So it looks really cool. And then we have that ability to do an increase and decrease that. So you can have something that looks a little framed in, just like that. And then the video will play right inside of that frame that we just created. So we have that option. Okay. Let's go down to the thumbnail and overlay. We're going to go ahead and update our page. And from there, we're going to go ahead and preview all of this on the site while it's live. So we have our custom thumbnail. We've added a great looking border around the video itself. And we have our custom icon right here. Let's go ahead and retest our site. Perfect. And the content size by domain, you can still see that we do not have the YouTube URL coming through. So that our requests are still low. We've gone down 12 requests, which is quite a lot. When you're trying, when you have a lot of uh, videos on your website that you're embedding, 12 requests is quite a lot of pulls for that one URL. So we've already gone ahead and lowered our megabytes for our page size. And like I said, we've eliminated that URL for the embed because we've gone ahead and all we're doing is we're just pulling in the thumbnail instead of actually pulling in the video itself. The video won't load until we actually click the play button. And then from there, it will load the video here. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you haven't done so yet, hit the like button and subscribe to our channels for more videos. And we will see you next time.